Every day we wake up to go hunting, Mother Nature presents us with weather conditions that we must learn to deal with. I mean, it's strung out the entire way. So much for a slight chance of a quarter inch of shower. It has been a week of extreme weather. Get this, 49 out of the 50 states in the United States of America have snow on the ground right now. We think they were seeing the camera. Yeah, I think they're seeing everything. Because the sun was right in our face. Yeah. That's, we screwed up this water by setting up like that. We should have. The, uh, the corn on this place had only had a little more than two inches of rainfall since it was planted. That was a tough, tough thing to overcome. When you live with Mother Nature, you're going to play by her rules. And when she decides to, to hit you with a right hook, you just gotta stand back up and you know rebuild whatever you have to. The wear and tear on the equipment is just crazy. What we're doing to them is not what's supposed to happen. The, the manufacturer never intended for this to be the way they were used. Despite the fact that the birds haven't been flying until three or four in the afternoon the last three days, it's 4.12 a.m. and we're headed to the field. They like a day like today we could probably use cardboard and kill them. They just eat. And maybe they're not gonna eat and leave. We could uh drop this, go back to my house and make some breakfast. Dude, what are you why the <laughs> should we get up at three o'clock in the morning to come here for five to go get breakfast? Are you being serious? Dude, seriously, who invited you? Kill him. being negative yellow and red on the radar is going to hit us in like a half hour I don't understand this point in setting decoys so when the weatherman yesterday said that today would be the, the weatherman up here is typically wrong unless this is lying to me this is AccuWeather <laughs> I think this is another one of those days where we sat there in a the truck for a second thinking this is not going to be good, but we did it anyway. Two hours later, 40 geese, you look back at it and you're like, you know, it's just one of those hunts you never forget.